everyone else still still does this like just yeah just wear whatever you know like leave it on the floor and as soon as you wake up pick it up off the floor put it on you know or like take it off when you get to the bathroom take a bath put it back on <laughs> whatever and then i was like you know what like you open the the closet and there's so much shit in there you're like picking out oh which t-shirt looks good today you know like which jeans looks good whatever you know and which shoes oh what new trainers and all this stuff you know and i'm like it just seems like counterproductive to be thinking about shit like that you know turning 30 just buy a whole bunch of white shirts oh and just wear a suit every day just like have a routine put it on you know and have have like three black shoes you know don't wear any other shoes just wear black shoes <laughs> and I'm like yeah once once it's on it's like ah, oh, i'm ready you know it's like i'm presentable for any occasion i turned up at Excel, a bunch of my friends work at Excel, and at the time Diplo was there, and my friend was just like, "Oh, very draw stuff, and you're looking for an illustrator for your major laser thing. Why don't you just ask him to try it out?" So they sent me the brief, and I was like, "This is my whole life, you know." <laughs> like they, they started going, "Oh, you know, major laser's character is this and this, and he, you know, came out in 1984, blah 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 blah. He has a laser gun for an arm." And I was like, "If I don't get this, like I don't know anyone who." would be able to do this better than me because this is you're just describing everything that I grew up with. Well, like everyone, I, I guess like I started watching cartoons first on TV. So it was like Centurions, He-Man, all that stuff. And then Japanese animation started coming coming into Indonesia. So it was like Saint Seiya and Doraemon and all this stuff. And those were like the first things I drew and then I started getting into comics and then I got into Marvel and I was a huge Marvel fan I was just like go to like the the foreign bookshop just to get like the comics and stuff I was always in and out of bands doing music and doing other people's artwork doing our own artwork and then slowly doing music videos um, just directing music videos for friends and then it just kind of grew from there I guess it's good for me because I can do anything like and, and I don't really value anything over anything else as long as the project is interesting and it seems like each project requires its own treatment in a way and whatever is strongest for the project that's what I would like to apply to it you know so if it doesn't require illustration for example then you know I don't illustrate.